Welcome to another episode of Teaneck Tidbits Talk. I'm here with Kayla and the one and only State Senator Loretta Weinberg, Teaneck merchant, Teaneck resident, and State Senator for how many years? Uh, well, state senator for about 25. 25 years. And how long have you been elected official? I was first elected to the council in Teaneck back in 1990. So that is 30 years ago. 30 years in politics. That's a long time. That is a long time. And I hear that uh, there are rumors that you are, this is your swan song, a couple more days to go. 30 years of giving back to the community, to the state. So... What made you get involved? Let's get a little, let's get down to some questions. Well, I, I came of age in the 60s. We moved to Teaneck in 1964. My husband, two little babies in our version of a double stroller, which was not next to each other, but in a line. And uh, it was the time of activism for practically everybody I knew here, whether it was the civil rights movement, or the anti-war movement, or the women's rights movement, or then school integration here in Tina. So uh, we moved in, I barely unpacked my dishes, put the babies in their stroller, walked down to what is now Noah's Ark, but was then the Lyndon Johnson for president at work. And that's how I got started. Interesting. Many people don't know this, and I'm sure maybe you would want Elon Musk to develop a time machine over a spaceship, but you're actually the one who got me involved in politics when you asked me to run, when you asked me to be on the youth advisory board when I was 15 years old. <laughs> do you remember that? I do, and I just. I don't want, I don't I just, want to hold it to against you. <laughs> I just said to Kayla earlier, I met her dad when she was when he was not much older than what she is now. Wow. So, and I explained to her that even though her dad and I sometimes have political differences, differences over issues, we've always had a warm personal relationship. I know your grandparents. I know your aunt and uncle. Yeah, and you also babysat for me one day with, uh, if you remember, with the prosecutor of the town. Those two brothers were terrible. And the, law and the lawyer of the town. I think I got a $1,000 babysitting bill for like two hours. He babysat and it took us a while to recover from that. I remember your two brothers when they were about two and four. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty wild. Wait a second. I'm, I'm asking the question. This is the only white cat's tidbits. <laughs> well, I think it's time for you to start passing the bad time to, to well, the younger people. What words of advice do you have for the younger people? I, I have good words of advice, and Kayla, I know that you grow up to become involved in your community, whether whatever it is that you feel is important, whether it is the environment we need for trees someplace, or that you grow up to get married and be a mom and you're interested in your children's education, whatever it is that you feel is important. Put your toe in the water. Go join a group. Go onto social media. Find out where there are other people who believe the same thing. And go help change the world because it always needs changing and improving. And uh, what, what would you say? Think, listen, you've had many successes and you've had obviously a huge impact on the state and on the, and everyone's lives in New Jersey. What are, what is like one thing on the top in the top five of your most proud items that you could say? You no, know, I've been asked that question a lot. I know, it's so hard. It's like picking my favorite grandchild. Yeah, my I know. Favorite child, not easy, but I have a few of them. Certainly, requiring insurance companies to pay for forty-eight hours for their moms and their babies after giving birth. 
when I gave birth, yes, you could stay in the hospital right. for five yeah, days. Then we went through this drive-through delivery. We had a baby in the morning, go home at night. So we required an insurance company to pay for at least 48 hours. That banning smoking indoors, so we would not be sitting in a restaurant like this with somebody blowing smoke at us. Marriage equality to make sure that all committed couples who love each other can form a good family unit that's recognized by the state. Uh, so these are some of the things that I point to with great pride. Certainly, in terms of our community here in Kenya, uh, things like helping Project Sarah get off the ground, getting them their first state funding, which is an outreach program for Orthodox women or men who might be victims of domestic abuse. So there are a lot of things I'm proud of, and it's hard to pick up. Thank you very much for all your years of service. We really appreciate it. Um, I know you've been on MSNBC. I know you've been on CNN. But now, now you could retire because you've been on Ellie White Katz's Tidbits Talk. The, now you've made it. I have been waiting all of my career. I know. To have this as the capstone. This is the culmination. Well, so, and we have a wonderful audience who've been smiling at us. Yeah. Well, we're here at Poppy's and uh, we want to wish you and everybody who's watching a happy and healthy new year. And we want to honestly thank you for all your dedication you know there's one thing that no one can ever take away from you and that is you always give 25 hours a day to your constituents morning to night this is what you eat breathe and sleep and we're so appreciative of all the great work that you've done and thank you thank you thank you and we wish you good luck and a lot of health in the next chapter of your life thank you very much Elliot. and to you and all the people out there a happy and wonderful healthy new year as we try to get through the trying times ahead. Anything else, Kayla? Happy New Year. Happy New Year.